Hi YouTubers, this is One Big Kid, and uh, today I want to try a little do-it-yourself pro uh, project. Um, everybody's pretty familiar with the Outdoor Products Mess Kit, and one thing I want to be able to do is to make biscuits or uh, you know muffins or stuff like that out on the trail. And I thought of a way that I could modify this standard kit to become uh, just that. So that's what we're going to try to do today with this little project, is uh, turn this into a, an oven fairly easily, I think. So pretty soon, uh, to get things started, what we'll do is just take it apart here. And you'll notice that the pan that has inside here already fits uh, you know, within itself. So you have a compartment. The only problem is um, what we need to do is just to create some space below this, in this area, uh, get it up off the heat source. And we need to have a space above it and we can create kind of an oven. Uh, at least that's what I think we're going to find out here. Uh, the problem is with, with it is that if you put something underneath here small and raise this up even a, a small amount that these little tabs right here will get caught in the top plate when you put it down it will wobble. So um, what I'm going to do is make some adjustments here to these and then I think we'll be able to uh, actually use this handle as our piece to keep, um, keep it up off the, the uh, bottom of the pan and I think we'll have an effective, uh, hopefully, effective uh, oven to tighten. It's a pretty stout little piece of equipment there. Kudos to Outdoor Products for that. Let's see if we can get the southern off. Just slide the windows to get them out, hopefully. So we have those out now. The other thing we need to do is reduce the height of these right here because they're too tall. So what I'm hoping to be able to do is just to tilt these back to the side. Retain the hole. Put it in here. I still have our hole to put things through. There's just enough leeway on the top there to uh, make a little oven out of this doodad here. Crazy, some stout stuff here. Yeah, better look this way. Try that. So I believe that we'll be able to get a little height out of this once we get it in there. And the next thing we do is find something to put underneath it. And what I was hoping to do is to actually actually be able to use this. So I'm just going to put a little bend in this. Maybe. <laughs> Let's well, and it looks. Let's see here. Because you do want to be able to reuse it. Let's make it, you know, so pretty much if it fits inside the pan, it's going to work. So I'm going to put this down in here to uh, make our distance between the pan. And let's we'll see if we can get our lid on there without it rotating, touching, rotating around. Okay, so I'm still catching on something here. Okay, so the end piece is catching on the outside. These end pieces here are catching on the outside, so we'll make this. Those adjustments if we can. So, my second thought was that if I couldn't use the holes again, I would make it a, a different style like this and possibly I could still get a hold of it. So, reducing those just a little bit. See if that'll work. seems to fit on there pretty good now so I believe we got this little oven and uh, what we need to do is try this out so I'll set that up and then we'll continue the video we at our pot and pan we're adjusting and remember we were turning this into an oven uh, and what we planned on doing was taking the we took of course took the sides off we was going to use this for our area to lift it up off the bottom and create kind of the oven effect but what I've decided to do because this is kind of heavy and it's also hard to bend and use like I'd like to use it uh, I've decided to go with something else I found I use in camping and whatnot a lot and this is a just a flower wire to use to set your flower pots up with and, and adjust them 
got it at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar. So it's bendable and it, it stands the heat really good. It won't melt like you think it would as being pliable as it is. So this is pretty much what we're going to do here is create it like that. Okay. Before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and use some spray I've got from the house here since we're doing this test. I'm going to spray the can good here and get it coated. So it's ready. My fire's burning good over there. Okay. And the next time I'm going to do is take our mark of whites what I'm using. I may not have to use all of it, but I'm just going to set that up right there real quick. Blueberry muffins is what I'm trying to make. See how it goes. Now I've got some milk over here. I need three quarters of a cup of that. See our measurements are on the side here. See that or not? Yeah. So we're going to three quarters of a cup. Goodness, there we don't want on there. Pour the cup. Milk up from my wife kills me. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do is just actually mix this in the pouch. I'm pretty sure I can do that. So, give me while I hold this against my tummy. Control here. Pop off there. Fire's burning really good over there. So we're gonna put this in here. This is probably how I would do it if I was camping. Got some little plastic fork to a spoon used today or knife, I'm sorry. Fire's burning really good over there. Mix this up in here. You don't want to over mix it because then any flour, the more you mix it, the stiffer it is when you cook it. I'm going to try to get it mixed up good, but not too much. I'm going to sit here and mix it for hours or whatever. I'm going to set up and cook. I'll try stuff right here. Get going on, so I'm just going to put it right here in the pan. Most of it anyway. And I use milk. I mean, when you're out camping, of course, you're going to probably use water, but I use milk because of just to make it a little bit fluffy and I plan on eating this stuff. So, there you go. Enough said. Just back over here out of the way. Okay, so we're going to create our little stove, our little oven. And we're going to have to watch it for 17 minutes so we'll get it up here. We're going to put it on the fire. Okay, and we're going to start our 17 minute burn and time it now. We'll, we'll continue to feed the fire as needed with our little twigs and whatnot. And then we'll get back with you soon. We so we can figure out what's going on. Hi again. It's been about 17 minutes or so. I'm going to let it go just a smidgen longer because uh, the instructions on the uh, the uh, blueberry cake mix or muffin mix said to cook for preheat your oven basically. And I didn't preheat anything. I just kind of stuck it up on there when I got the fire going. So I'm giving it an extra minute, uh, something like that. And then we're going to pull it off here and see what we've got. All right. So it's been about the allotted amount of time, and we're hoping that this has been up to like. 354 degrees like an oven would be. We'll remove this and see what we've got real quick. It's a good test nonetheless. Ooh, the pan's getting hot. Get this lid off these or not. Ooh, that's pretty good there. I don't know that it's done though. We'll do the test. I don't have a toothpick so we'll take this uh, now it's sticking to it so it's not quite done. We're going to cook it a little bit longer. We'll put it back on there and fire it up again and see how what the difference is in it. But it is starting to Puff up and look pretty good. On the fire and give it a little bit longer, see how long it takes. Difference in what an oven would be and what this would be, but it does appear to be doing what I want it to do. So I'll chuck in a couple more pieces of wood here. Shouldn't take a whole lot of more wood. The small pieces get a flame back up. Quick, get the pan hot. It appears to be not letting it get burnt, so that's what we're hoping for. That little stove cooks hot and we'll fires that wood right back up. You can already see we already got fire going again, just whatever dies down. Anyway, so we'll come back. I said it's been uh, 17, 18 minutes, I guess. And yeah, we'll leave it on a while longer to see what we get. See how long it takes to get it done and if it burns the bottom and whatnot. Chances are it might burn the bottom since it's burning so hot. We may have to get a little higher off the bottom, but we'll see. We're going to eat on it and we'll get done. So, be back in a little bit. All right, we're back again. I'm not really a cook, but I'm just guessing about 15 more minutes should have done it. 
so we're going to see how this looks and everything. I've also tried to keep the flames a little higher on it to make it burn a little hotter because I'm, I'm guessing that we're not getting the, the amount of degrees we need like you would get in an oven exactly, so I'm trying to compensate for that a little bit. So let's see what we got here. A lot better. Actually, it looks, looks really good. Let's see here. Yeah. Put right. off here. It looks good though. We've just done all the way through. Oh yeah, it looks really good. All right, we got that. I wonder if it's burnt on the bottom though. This the thing to do would be to turn this dude over. Use this pan right here since it's clean. If I can get a hold of it. We got this little muffin cake or not. Oh, son, it fell right up there. It's really good. It's really good. Alright, so I'm very pleased with this test. I got us a big blueberry muffin. Everything worked really good. Uh, all in all, um, I pretty much just doubled the cook time on this little stove. Worked out pretty good and I added a minute for not having it preheated. So, um, worked out really good. I'm gonna extra good. Cut into that just a little bit and see what we got. Make sure it gets hot though. Wow. Mm. A little hot to eat right now, but man, it looks good. I might have to take it inside and show it off to my daughter. So look what daddy did, honey. She's in her mid-twenties, so. She's not easily impressed anymore. Anyway, uh, there you have it. Um, and the other thing I wanted to cover real quickly is uh, I told you I was going to do away with the little uh, handle that we had for this uh, cook set. And that's true. And again, like I said, I got another piece of this wire here. You can just take that wire and bend it any which way you want to. It's stout enough. Uh, you can hold, you know, hold it over the flame. I don't mean, get a flame to do it, but you can hold it over the flame like with a lighter or something. It won't melt. It's almost as pliable as lead. Uh, but it's not lead because it won't, you know, it's not, it may be, but it's not a, the type that you just melt and put on something, you know, to solder with. It's not a solder. But um, I don't know what it is, but it's at the Dollar Tree and it's very useful. You can bend it, hold your gear with it, use it to hang stuff with. And uh, when you get done, I just wrap it around my Stanley bottle and it gets right back in the same shape and it doesn't snag or anything. I can bend the ends if I need to. It won't snag. It's just real easy to use. And I'll be using that for my handle for this part that I took off of my, my kit before. And I'll just throw this put in the bottom. And also, like we used it today, it'd be, it's a lot lighter than the handle for one thing. And you see it, it withstood all that uh, cooking and did fine. Probably still hot, so I'm not going to go crazy with it. But it didn't melt or anything. It did really good. And it's still pliable. So it's also a lot lighter. So hopefully this helps somebody out there uh, when they're looking for, a, I was wanting to do something with muffins on the campfire. And this is going to work great. It's going to work really good. And like I said, I think this kit is just, just a few dollars, like five, six dollars or something like that at Walmart. And uh, there's an adjustment too you can do real quickly to get you an oven out of it. And I hope, hope you have fun with it. It's good. Got me an oven.